How do? It's Dwayne with Phoenix Typewriter, phoenixtypewriter.com. We've got a selector two here we were uh, cleaning up, servicing, and it's got a rattle. You can hear it. It's off right now. I'm going to turn it on. You can hear that clicking noise. And that clicking noise is the motor uh, bushing is expired. We're going to show you how to change that. That is the motor right down here. Let me see if we can get some light down here. And I'm going to I move this cord, propped it up out of the way so we can see in here a little better. I'm going to show you how to change this. I've got a little light here. I'm going to shine right on the clutch there. That's the motor clutch. That's the belt. And there's a retainer clip. And what we're going to replace is this small piece of plastic right here. It's called a bushing. You can barely see it. But that's going to get replaced. I'm going to set that right there. Let's turn this off. Try to get the camera down a little lower, baby. Okay. So what we need to do first is take that retainer off and circle this around and got a retainer remover here. We will stick that on there, squeeze it and then the retainer comes off. Let's set that down. Next item off is the washer. It's just a little plastic washer right here. There she is. Let's set that down. These aren't too dirty, but we're going to maybe clean them up a little bit. Let me put a little, a little cleaning agent on these. I just want to make sure these are a little bit cleaner than they started with. Okay. Okay, so we got the clip and the washer. And we're going to take the belt off the pulley here. You just kind of kind of hold it and it will slip right off and manipulate it down and around this pulley. There we go. So get that belt off and then we're just going to slide this pulley right on out. Right like that. There she goes. Again, we're going to clean this up. Let me uh, clean the agent right down in here. We will clean this part, clean down the shaft here. Get this all cleaned out. Get all the old oil out of here. Just fix something down in here like this. This camera's kind of close. I keep bumping it. Sorry. Okay, so make sure this is cleaned out, you want it to be, sometimes this actually can get rusty inside of here too, so you might even put a piece of sandpaper in there and sand it slightly, but usually just cleaning it like this and drain it, we'll get it clean enough, and make sure your grooves are all clean, okay. Take that little piece that we have here, which is kind of hard to see, it's right here, and what you do is you twist this, make a little circle with it, and stick it in there. So, so it's folded up inside of here. When it's in there right, it goes right to the edge of the side, right to the edge of that side, and it fits and you can't even see it. It's, you can kind of see it in there. Okay, next thing is uh, clean the shaft off. So, same thing we're going to 
a little bit of cleaning agent in there. And I'm going to just do my little trick here, turn it on, and clean that shaft thoroughly. Make sure it's not rusty or anything on that that we got to worry about. Next thing is lubricate it. Put some nice, I used the Miracle Mystery Red Oil. Works wonderful. Next thing that we're going to do is slide the pulley back on with the new plastic bushing in there. When you stick this on, you've got to kind of flex this motor out a little bit to get it to to get it to go down the shaft. There it goes. And when you get it in here past the edge here, make sure that bushing stayed in the side of that. Which looks like it's poking out. You can push it in a little. Why it's why the belt's off it. You can make sure that bushing is all the way in there. I'm gonna shine the light there and put some glasses on to make sure it's in there. It's good. Let's clean this piece off. Okay. Okay, next thing is to put the belt back on. You gotta reach in here and pull it around here. And the best thing to do is take your finger keep the tool off of there. So it's about to go on. You have to push this motor in. I mean, you could loosen it, but you can push it in. Just flex it in enough like that, and you'll get that belt to pop on there. There it goes. And uh, go ahead and fire this up. There we go. Just on and off real quick. Let everything settle in place. All right, let's take our little uh, washer first. Let's put the washer back on. And next thing is the retainer clip. With the retainer tool is the easiest way. You can manipulate it on there without the tool, but we got the tool, we're gonna do it. And squeeze that right on, just like that. Steady the camera. I'm gonna make sure that's pretty much against the washer all the way. Like that. And she's ready to go. Now, when we turn it on, no more clicky sound. All right, that's how you put a motor bushing in an I beam Selectric 1, a Selectric 2, or a Selectric 3. They all have the same motor and clutch assembly right here. All right, folks. This is Dwayne with Phoenix Typewriter. You have a good day.